In this video, we'll go through copying a module. The important thing about being able to copy a module is that it can streamline uh, your production and, and really help you out and build out a quick, uh, big site relatively quickly. So uh, let's get right to it. One of the quick, the first things you, that we duplicate and copy on our site is the banners module. We want to show multiple ads and multiple ad positions throughout our website. So we might, in order to copy a module, it's very simple. You simply tick the, the module item and go up to the top right here and click copy. And it's going to let us know, hey, you got a copy of banners here. Okay, well, let's tick both of those, and then let's hit copy again. Okay, so now we have copy of banner copy. So now we got four different banner positions, or four different banner modules that we can have running throughout the site. If we wanted another one, we can simply hit copy again. So now what we've done is we've got the four different banner positions. We can click on the first one here. We would obviously rename this banner position, uh, or rename the module. Um, banner 2, since we've got the first one called Banner 1, and now we can go in and edit the specific uh, parameters for this module, uh, namely the position. We don't want them all showing up in one position. So let's say we want to run an ad on the left side, in the left column of our page. We can simply hit, uh, put it on the left side, order it accordingly. We want it down at the very bottom, and using uh, the parameters, we can say, we know that this client here, Open Source Matters, let's say, has a banner that is 150 by 150, so it's a nice little square ad uh, that's going to fit nicely in our left banner, then we would publish that specific advertiser in that slot and choose which pages we wanted it to go on. We don't want it to show up on the category blog, content layouts, and I'm picking those individually by holding down control as I click the, the one that I don't want it to show up on. So I don't want it to show up on the news or the web links or more about Joomla page, and then simply hit save. So I do that to show you how quickly you can copy a module position and begin to organize the modules throughout your website um, uh, so to increase your production and get things done a little bit faster. So hope that helps.